Dad, thanks for the TXT, but I did not LOL. This week's Freedom Show, add wit, grit, and surely the finest act we've ever had. It all happened like this. Send. It's meant to be Freedom Show rehearsals and the actors are still in their cells. We've got Umpar Brass, Team Extreme, Timo Mark, and Flame Oz. Yes, apologies for that, sir, but you know how you once said Gimbert couldn't be more useless if he tried. Yes. Yes, well, he did try, sir, and he is. Got his legs stuck in the rubbish chute. Another inch and he'd have been recycled, sir. Well, that's the third time this month, and it can't go on like this. Which is exactly why I am hiring a new prison warden. What? Meet your new teammate, Ms. Stephanie Pinch. I think you'll find my resume speaks for itself. Stephanie Pinch, top security professional, sharp surveillance expert, and makes a mean cover. Ooh, <laughs> time very much. I'm dedicated to being punctual, efficient, and above all, I don't go soft about anything. Oh, what about those little fluffy kittens and the little furry faces? Shut, Shut up. up! Oh, I can see we're going to get along swimmingly, Miss Pinch. Fine. That's settled then. You'll make a great team. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get this show back on track. Right if on. I may, Governor. Ooh. Get your legs and good for nothing sacred little bots out of bed and down on the stage. Now! Couldn't have put it better myself. Lovely. Crutch, you miserable lot! There's a new regime around here. That's right. So, uh, just you listen to what Miss Pinch has got to say. Up to now, you've had it easy. Some of your entertainers think a hard day's work is a bit of dancing, a spot of juggling, or maybe some improv. Pa! 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 What do you people want? A round of applause? Yes. Silence! You. Who said you could wear those boots? They're a centimetre higher than regulation. And you. I don't care if you've been on Prison's Got Talent. No shades. Take them off, lad. And finally, you. Said you could blink, Mr. Burgess. Did you allow this inmate to blink? Uh, well, we do tend to allow blinking, Miss Pinch. Yeah. What? Uh, well, I've never really seen the arm in it. Uh, you know, cleanses the lenses, apparently. Soft. Yeah. That's what this place is. Soft. You've gone sloppy, haven't you, Frank? Well, I. You've gone as sloppy and ploppy as your porridge. Now. I think it's best if I take that, don't you? Well, I... Right. Fifty jazz hands each on the double. Up, down, up, down, faster. She's being a bit harsh, isn't she, Mr. Burgess? Ah, oh, that's what I like to see, dance rehearsals. What a great idea. Well, they're not actually... And that's why you should never eat popcorn in the bath. All right. All right, Nokia, look lively, cell inspection. Yes, this all looks fine. Right, as you were, lad. Fine! Fine! You're softer than a marshmallow duvet. Who's that? And why has she got her face on inside out? Silence! This cell is a disgrace. Extra thick blankets, illegal sweets, and puppets! You can't take Charlie. Here, put me down, new lady. Uh, with... Now, just a minute, Miss What? Pinch. Got a problem, have you, Frank? Gonna blow the whistle on me, are you? What? I can't blow my whistle anymore. You've 
taken it away from me. Well, I say puppets are not allowed. So puppets are not allowed! You're spoiling my hair, you. Put me down. <laughs> What's going on, Mr Burgess? Do something! Oh, shut up, no go and give me a jelly baby. They're not jelly babies. Oh, wiggly worms. Well, we never started the Freedom Show so promptly. I must say, I'm very impressed, Stephanie. I don't know, I'm very impressed, Stephanie. In fact, I'm so impressed, I want you to take Mr Burgess's spot during the show. Keep things running smoothly. Sir, I'm honoured. I knew you wouldn't mind, Frank. I can't think of a better person for the job, sir. So, how do I look? Divine. Stop it, you. <laughs> In that case, it's showtime. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to HMP Slammer, where you decide which prisoner is to be released. Now, please welcome your host. His head's been turned by a brand new warden. So paint me blue and call me Gordon. It's the governor! Jailers and jailbirds, it's great to see you. We've got a marvellous freedom show for you today. Oi! Rusty sweet rappers are not allowed, but order the governor! Yes, as you can see, uh, we've got a new warden with us today. That's uh, Ms Pinch. She's a little bit stricter than the other guards. And you there! Stop breathing so fast. Anyway, as I say, we have got some fantastic performing prisoner acts, one of whom will be allowed out at the end of the Freedom Show. We've got Team Extreme. Oh, yes. We've got Team O'Mark, a very mysterious man, yes. And we've got a real hot act called Flavors. Will you please welcome your first act? It's Umpa Brass! Will they be going free, blowing their own trumpets? Let's find out. Mr Burgess? Huh? Give your microphone to Miss Pinch. Sir. Ah. Thank you. Let's find out what you thought with Miss Pinch. Right. Five men with brass instruments. What do you think of that, Harry? Um, I thought it was very tuneful and musical. It gets you dancing a lot. Do you like dancing, Harry? Yes. It shows your moves? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Umpa Brass, did you like them? Yeah, very yeah? much. You like that kind of music? Yeah, definitely. It was brilliant. Ten yeah, out of ten. Yeah, ten out of ten. A good musical start, sir. What do you think of Umpa Brass? 
Well, I think they were really good um, at playing the pop songs on really boring kind of old musical instruments. But they really need to get their costumes sorted out. And they look like they've just come from the past. It's really sad <laughs> compared to their music. So, uh, men in dodgy shorts doesn't appeal to you? No. Do you think they should go free, madam? No. No, why not? Because they don't dress properly. Well... <laughs> Don't you like those type of trousers? No. No. Right, in one word, sum up Oompa Bros. Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Oompa Loompa. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Is everything all right, Mr Burgess? Well, since she turned up, I'm almost redundant, lad, aren't I? Yeah, and I'm in a flaming cupboard. Now, you may be as useful as a chocolate sun lounger, but you know how to use a computer, don't you, lad? Yeah. All right. Walk this way. Right, well, on to our next performing prisoner act. Let's hear you scream for Team Extreme! Both of them. Let's find out with Ms. Pinch. Right, Team Extreme. Extremely good or in need of a long stretch? You, young lady, what do you think of them? It was nail-biting, phenomenal and unique, and I don't think I'll ever see anything like it. Never again in your whole life. <laughs> what about you, madam? What did you think of Team Extreme? Should they go free? Yes, I think they should go free and absolutely phenomenal. Could you do that, Governor? If... <laughs> <laughs> If the bike was specially reinforced, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> How about you, sir? It was awesome. Ten out of ten, jump-tastic and very daring. You've got my vote. Team Extreme, do you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah, tell us all I about it. I think them. they were really captivating mm. and they were jaw-dropping to see them do their stunts. Yeah, very good. And do you think they should go free, madam? Definitely. One final word. Slamatastic. Oh, there we go. Final word is slamatastic. Here we go, Mr. B. Prison Warder Staff Records. Mm. Stephanie Pinch, top secret dossier. Oh. <laughs> Jailers and jailbirds, it's time for the act that we call solitary confinement. Oh, Ooh, yes. Solitary confinement. We allow an act to come out and perform. Normally, we don't let them out. But if they do well, they get a little treat. And today's treat is lovely. We've bought a new sofa and they can have a lie down. Nice rest and a lie down on the sofa. But if they don't do well, they go back to their cell for a cruel and unusual punishment. Miss Pinch! Sir! What is today's cruel and unusual punishment? Today's cruel and unusual punishment is they will be forced to sing opera with a skunk stuffed down their vest. Oh, nasty that. <laughs> All right, then. We need a judge. Miss Pinch, who have we got there? Let's have a look. Nice I'm and... going to pick uh, Ooh, right this young lady down here. I've been right watching her. I think right she's right. a likely one. Give her a big round of applause, please. Thank you very much indeed. There we are. All around the houses. Thank you very much. What is your name, young lady? Jade. Jade. Here we go with today's act from Solitary Confinement. Yes! Come on, Jade.
on, let's get around it. Give him something. What do you think? Round of applause or a cheer or a cheer? What do you think? Oh dear. We have to be fair. Please, Jade is the sole judge. It's up to you, Jade. If it's thumbs up, then it's a nice, lovely rest. And if they don't do well, then it's Nessum Dorma in a stinky old vest. You've got five seconds to decide. Your time starts now. Oh, straight away, it's back to the cells. Go on, off they go. Hey, listen, listen. They're going in the cell for the cruel and unusual punishment. Oh, There we are. And a round of applause for Jade, please. Thank you very much indeed. There you go, Donna. So right now, jailers and jailbirds, it's time to press on with our next performing prisoner. He's strange, he's unusual, he's brilliant. He is Timo Ma! Timo, let's find out with Miss Pitch. Right, I'm coming to the uh, naughty corner. You, young man, Endless Wonder or Marvel? It was absolutely outstanding. Go on. Um, I was so impressed. He's got my vote. What about Timo, Mark? What did you think, sir? Well, I think it was absolutely amazing. I would say he has a 0 0.9 recurred probability of getting out of the slammer. 0 0.9 recurred? And what about his score generally? Well, I would say 87 out of 100. Yeah. Do you spend your whole life doing sums? Well, most of it. How old are you? I'm 10. I think you're about 57, really, aren't you? What did you think? I thought it was good, but I've seen better. <gasps> so criticism in Dick. Can you do better than that? Uh, no, but I've seen better magicians before. Oh, dear. A little critique there. And what's your mark for Timo Mark? Um, I would say it's 10 out of 10. It's yeah. like, um, it's actually the best performance yet. Yeah, well, 10 out of 10, you can't get better than that, can you? One final word. Wicked. There we go, that's our final word, wicked. Jailers and jailbirds, just one more performing prisoner act to see. Stop. And what a... Stop. What, Peter? Stop everything. Peter, what is it? Oh, I'm not leaving until I get my puppets back. Oh, dear, dear. Miss Pinch, deal with this immediately, will you, with please? With pleasure. Disgraceful. Come yes. on, you. Off you go. Now. Oh. so hard now, are you, Miss Pinch? Oh, Stephanie, Stephanie, we've got a show to do. What are you doing? Have you Look. got a problem, Tom? Oh, Frank, thank heavens you're here. Sort this out, will you? Certainly, sir. Yes. No do do one. Right, Mr. Burgess. You sell two. Oh. Turns out she had a soft spot after all, sir. A clinical disposition to something called R&B, sir. Frank, it's good to have you back. I've misjudged you. You can introduce the final performing prisoner act. And it does involve a little warning. You like them, don't you? Absolutely, sir. 
Don't anybody attempt to try this themselves. But now, it's Flame Horse! Will they be going back down under to Australia? Or is the only way they're getting out the slammer going up and over the wall? Let's find out with Mr. Burgess. Flame Oz there. But, flaming hot or flaming Nora? I thought it was flaming awesome, but I think some of the guys need better costumes. Better costumes? <laughs> what, uh, what sort of thing would you have them dressed in, sir? A sort of back lacy number? Um, well, I think it's just because it's a bit sort of weird on the boys. On the girls it looks all right, it's just the boys, it's just sort so, of... Uh, it just looks a bit... So you like it on the ladies? Know. Yeah. <laughs> Be quiet, oh, you know. Right, young man, did you enjoy that act? Yes, I thought it was brilliant, amazing, and it was quite scary And when the man was dancing between with the fire between all the other people. So, uh, you think we should release them into society, do you? No. No? No. Keep them here for more sloppy, ploppy porridge? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what about you, sir? I thought it was well incredible, unbelievable and awesome. What was well incredible about it, sir? Well, when they put the fire in their mouth, they, when they, and they took, they took it out, the fire was just gone. I thought they were going to die. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, on a, on a word of warning, that could happen, so uh, don't ever try that, will you, sir? OK. What did you think of that act? Um, I thought that uh, their hair was going to catch fire. Yeah. Because it looked like it. Yeah. And it was sticking out a little bit. What was I sticking out a little bit? The hair. Oh, their hair. Are they going free? Yes. Yes. Even though the hair is all over the place? Yes. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Miss, sum that act up for me in one final word. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ah! That's the Freedom Show. Let's welcome back all those performing prisoner acts. Yes, come on, the Oompa Brass, Too Extreme, Too Bad Art, and Flame Oz. There they are. Wonderful. Look at them. Oh, wow. So much talent, but only one act can go free. We decide with this. Gimbert's all patented. clap on it. Whoever gets the highest score from you lot, jailers and jailbirds, will go free. It's as simple as that. Well, first up, they were loud. They were very musical. Will they be going free? Let's hear your appreciation, please, for Oompa Brass! Oh, Oompa Brass. 84 points. 
three. A good, respectable score there, 84.3. Right, next we had Daredevil stunts on those bicycles. I've never seen anything like it. Will they be going free? Team Extreme, let's hear it for them. <laughs> Into an early lead, those two lads in their crash hats there. Or is it their hairstyles? I can't tell. There we are, 93.5. Back in the line there. Or oh, Mr Burgess will have you. Well, next, a most unusual act. Very, very unusual. Did he do enough to earn your vote? Let's hear it, please, for Timo You screamo for Timo, he's in the lead, 94.3, yes! He's going free unless this act nick it at the end. They were sensational, they were hot stuff. Did they do enough? Let's hear it please, for Flame On! Almost off the scale, 96.8, they win it, second day Timo Mark, Flame On, you're going free! Jailbirds. The others, it's bad news for them, I suppose, but the great news, of course, is they stay in time for the famous Slammer Tea. Mr. Burgess, ah. what are they having for tea? Well, sir, I can't stand here. I really can't stand here and tell you it's sloppy, floppy porridge, sir. Oh, really? No. I'm going to stand here and tell you it's sloppy, floppy porridge, sir. Oh. Take them all away. Oh, Off you go. For your sloppy, floppy Thank porridge. You, Give me a hand there. Team up, team extreme. Well, jailers and jailbirds, that's it from the Freedom Show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. You can't just chuck me out. I demand to see my lawyer. If I go, I'll bring you all down with me. Allow me, sir.